Question 23 asks students to evaluate the impact of emerging new treatments and technologies on healthcare and provide examples to support your answer. This was worth eight marks. So if we just look here from our syllabus, obviously the key term for us first of all will be evaluate. And we're going to have a look and see what evaluate means. It's going to be to make a judgment based on criteria to de determine the value of. So we need to make a judgment about the use of what the question's asking us. So it's make a judgment about the impact of emerging new treatments. So that's what we're looking at here. What's the judgment that these new Im the impact that new emerging treatments and technologies are having on healthcare? If we go to our syllabus and let's have a look and see where it comes from in relation to our syllabus. Under here, what role does healthcare facilities and services play? Healthcare in Australia, we're looking at the impact of emerging new treatments and technologies on healthcare. So some things that we'd like to see in the end would be cost and access benefits of early detection. They're the key aspects there. We'll just go back to the question. And we've got here, I'll just read through first of all and let you know of some of the reasons of why this has been selected as the sample answer is because this response identifies new treatments and technologies in healthcare, which is what the question's asking you to do, and makes a clear judgment. Remember, judgment being the evaluate. It makes a clear judgment on the impact, both a positive and a negative one, of these treatments. For example, the benefits of treatments of individual yet negative in terms of increasing the cost to the individual and also to communities. Also, the lack of funding for Medicare and PBS and equity in access. So he's gone through and he's made a judgment. He hasn't just been on the positive side. We looked at the judgment that the impact of emerging new treatments and technologies have on the healthcare and has concentrated on both positive and negative. For example, as I said before, looking at some of the individual treatments and also some of the increasing costs. So we just go through this answer. I mean, the concern for me would be I'd like a little bit more underlining of key aspects of where it stands out. You know, we talk about the cost was given in the, in the syllabus as an example, so that would be nice to have, you know, cost underlined. Um, things such as MRI, another form of a service, which is going to be very expensive. And it goes through some of these services and says, talks about the MRIs and some other technologies, but also capsules and creams, which are also very expensive and places in inequity as a social justice issue on communities. Although these treatments are very beneficial for the individual requiring them, they are expensive cost and therefore cannot be used. These new technologies uh, used treatments are also not covered by any government funding such as Medicare. So we're looking at some positive and also some negatives in the one area. An example here, a lady who is a pensioner but requires these new treatments and technologies cannot afford them and therefore suffers. The government establishment of the pharmaceutical benefits scheme only allows for basic needs. The impact, such as placing people in a low economic status or placing people on on, on something where they um, where they cannot afford it. These new treatments and technologies also have pos uh, positives as they allow for early intervention and prevention by detection. Example, the cancer for MRI and x-ray. So that's Again, looked at some of the negatives in terms of not being fair for everybody, but also some of the positives in early detection. When looking overall at what the whole candidature was able to achieve, most students were able to provide a range of examples of emerging new treatments and technologies, which is pleasing, and made reference to the fact that it would impact on the healthcare, yet failed to mention how it would impact. Remember the question at the top is asking you to evaluate the impact. Don't just tell me what the impact is. What's the actual impact? Or sorry, what's the... Make a judgment based on the impact. Is it having a positive or a negative, which is why this answer has been good. Um, the other concern, or the other main concern, was, was that some of the syllabus terminology and the knowledge of the syllabus content. Students seem to confuse this with core two. Um, also, improving performance with the technology and also the training methods and core one alternative medicines. They were trying to come up with all different areas that would match this instead of just looking at the new treatments and technologies on healthcare. So there was a real lack of understanding at this aspect of the syllabus, so I'd encourage all students to go back and have a look over it and make sure they're clear with their knowledge on the syllabus and be specific. They concentrate on this element of the syllabus under Healthcare in Australia and not other areas in order to achieve better marks.